Hi, my name is Crystal Alanis, and I'm a partner with Ready and Newman PC, practicing exclusively in employment-based immigration law. I am also the managing attorney for our PERM Labor Certification Department, where I oversee all EB2 and EB3 employment-based green card matters, and I've actually been with Ready and Newman for over 11 years now. Okay, so the Department of Labor has issued updated processing times as of January 31st, 2023 for PERM applications and for prevailing wage determinations. Um, according to the Department of Labor, the National Prevailing Wage Center is processing prevailing wage requests that were filed in January of 2022 for both OES and non-OES wages. Um, also, the National Prevailing Wage Center is processing redetermination requests submitted in June of 2022. And then currently at Ready & Newman, we are seeing prevailing wage determinations on average being issued in about six to seven months right now. Okay, so now moving over to the PERM adjudications, the Department of Labor is processing PERM applications filed in May of 2022. And on average, the Department of Labor is adjudicating PERMs in about 264 days. So that's going to be over eight and a half months right now. Um, also, the Department of Labor is processing audits for PERM applications filed in March of 2022. And on average, the total processing time if the PERM is audited is 383 days. So if your PERM application is audited, I would expect an additional four months for adjudication. Um, also, the Department of Labor is processing PERM reconsideration requests that were submitted in June of 2022. And then currently at Ready & Newman, we are seeing PERM applications being approved if there is no audit issued on the case in about eight and a eight to eight and a half months, which is basically consistent with the average processing times reported by the Department of Labor. Okay, so PERM processing times for both prevailing wage determinations and PERM applications continue to be a major problem for employers and foreign workers. Um, it used to be that if the prevailing wage determinations were taking a very long time to be issued, the Department of Labor would kind of make up for that by um, adjudicating the PERM application fairly quickly and vice versa. Um, but now we're seeing long processing times on both ends, and this has led to unprecedented processing times of these applications. Um, so employers and employees should really remain updated on processing times and plan to begin the employment-based green card process as early as possible to avoid you know any potential issues uh, with the foreign workers temporary work visa and ability to remain and work in the US beyond the maximum period of stay until the green card is received by the employee okay so thank you so much for joining me today if you have any immigration related questions please visit us at rnlawgroup.com